For me, what fiction is, is a kind of possibility space where everything can and should be tried and challenged and investigated. And so it's, it's tremendously exciting for me um, to launch into a new work and make sure it has nothing to do with the work that I just completed. Um, I'm very interested, for instance, um, in how the page has developed. Um, the page has become invisible to us as readers and uh, it, 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 we sort of fall through the words into a world. I'm really interested in reinvestigating the space of the page, um, the materiality of the page, how the page functions as a part of the reading process. And so my last novel, Theories of Forgetting, has uh, uh, one narrative that runs across the top of all the pages and one narrative that runs across upside down across the bottom of all the pages. So you become very mm, aware of the act of reading. One other thing uh, that really, really interests me is the idea of history. Um, the idea of history as a subset of fiction um, and, and how, how we tell history, who tells history, why we tell history, uh, from what perspective we tell history. So a novel I wrote called uh, Nietzsche's Kisses is, is all about um, the, the historical problem called Friedrich Nietzsche rather than about Friedrich Nietzsche. How do we tell Nietzsche? What is Nietzsche? Um, what are the stories, uh, or how can those stories be told? What I'm interested in is a mode of writing that actually slows us down and uh, impedes perception in various ways, whether it be through the page or whether it be through bringing up questions having to do with history um, or reading or, or whatever in a way that makes it so that we can't quickly move through a page, we can't quickly move through the world, we can't quickly move through ourselves. Um, and, and if we do that right as writers, we begin as readers, as writers as well, to unlearn um, things that we have been taught before. Um, and that to me is extremely important. And then, you know, if there's, if there's no emotion, if there's no, no human core to a work, um, it's something else. It's not, it's not literature. For me, what writing is about is um, exploring notions of curiosity, of what it means to be, you know, human at a certain time and a certain place, but then also um, to help, how to say this, to, to really get us to, to change the way we think about the world. Um, people talk about, you know, literature can't change anything, and I think that that is true at a, a large cultural level, but from person to person to person, literature is always changing us. We all remember reading books that completely altered who we were. One of the very, very first actually was Kafka's Metamorphosis. I remember I was 13 years old, and um, I picked it up and had no idea that literature could do it could do that right you you pick it up and you know Gregor Samsa awoke one morning to find he'd been transformed into a gigantic cockroach in his in his bed and I, I that changed everything for me um that literature could do that um that language could do that and then the the sort of deep human connection that you come to feel with Gregor and and so on it was it was, it was just extraordinary um, and there have been books like that, they're, they're almost like markers of one's life, right? As you go through life, you look back and you think, oh, I was tremendously transformed by, um, you know, this work or, or that work. Um, Nabokov's Lolita was another book that, that completely transformed me simply because of how every sentence was a poem. Um, you know, Nabokov wrote Lolita on... Um, little cards and each sentence got its own card and he went through each sentence and corrected it and rewrote it and restructured it and then when that sentence was done he'd, he'd put it on a, a, you know, the card before it and he'd create little paragraphs of cards and writing at that speed, writing with that sense of love of language um, was transformative to, to experience. 
Thomas Mann once said that, that um, writing is uh, more difficult for writers than for other people. Um, and I think one of the reasons for that is precisely because um, language is a tremendous problem. Um, it's, and, and what we do as writers is every day investigate the relationship of the signifier to the signified and realize just how complex and always changing and always um, difficult that relationship is. And, and so rather than being able to provide an answer to that question, I think it's the question itself that interests me. Um, I remember uh, Roland Barthes once said um, that uh, literature is, is the writing that provides the question, not the answer. And, and I think um, that's, that's precisely what I'm, I'm sort of struggling with every morning when I get up.